briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The city of Cuyahoga Falls found itself in the middle of a constitutional debacle in 2003 when it was sued by Buckeye Community Hope Foundation. The case centered on a referendum petition filed by citizens, which sought to repeal a housing ordinance that authorized the construction of a low-income housing complex. The foundation claimed their rights to equal protection and due process clauses of the 14th Amendment and the Fair Housing Act were violated by the city and its officials. In an earlier ruling, the Sixth Circuit Court of Appeals had allowed the foundation to proceed to trial on their claims. This decision, however, was upended by the Supreme Court, who found that the foundation provided insufficient evidence to prove an equal protection violation. The cornerstone of the Supreme Court judgment was the principle that a violation of the Equal Protection Clause required proof of racially discriminatory intent. Simultaneously, they also concluded that the city of Cuyahoga Falls had acted in accordance with a facially neutral charter and thus could not be held liable for potential discriminatory motives of its voters. Moreover, the Supreme Court held that private statements made during the citizen-driven petition could not be attributed to the state under the 14th Amendment. The court also determined that the city's charter procedures, which allowed for a public debate on the referendum, were protective of First Amendment rights. The Sixth Circuit's judgment was subsequently partially reversed and vacated, while the Fair Housing Act claim was entirely dismissed with prejudice. The Supreme Court remanded the case for further proceedings, effectively minimizing any potential liability for the city of Cuyahoga Falls. It's a case that underscores the complexities of constitutional rights, even within seemingly simple local ordinances. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.